when it comes to relationships, you know, emotions drive relationships. You know, you can't say you have a relation with someone you, you don't have any feelings for or any emotions towards, or, or if you're dead towards a person, then there's nothing between you, you know, whether it be friendship or whatever else, you know. Not every type of emotion is equally predictive of the health of a relationship. We, we, talk, we talked about that last week, but we said there are two main ones, and those are empathy and affection. And we spent our time last week talking about what our uh, empathy is. Today, we're going to focus on affection. What are affections, right? Affection is a gentle feeling of warmth. So when you have an affection towards someone, you have a, 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 a warmth. You know, when they mention the person's name, when the person touches you, or when the memory of the person comes to you, you have a certain feeling of coming alive, right? Emotion, affection is a gentle feeling of warmth, a gentle feeling of coming alive, you know, of caring. So they mention that person's name and, and you, you want to hear more. Damn, if you want to hear more, you see that person, you want to see again. Affection is a gentle feeling of warmth, of coming alive, of caring, of liking, of liking. If you have affection towards that person, you like the person. If you have affection towards a person, you care about the person, right? And fondness, right? You, you are fond of the person. You want to be where that person is. You want to be close to that person. You want to touch that person. You want to hear that person. You want that person to see you. You want that person to touch you. You want that person to mention your name, you, you know? So, so you, when you have all of these, that's what affection is, right? So it's also the action or process of affecting or being affected. <laughs> I love that. Affection, <laughs> if you have affection towards a person and you're affected by that person, you're not indifferent to that person, right? When you're indifferent to a person, to a person or thing, you have no affections toward that person. But if that a person or thing affects you, changes your mood, makes you torn, <laughs> makes you come alive, you know, make you, makes you interested, you know, then you have an affection towards that thing. You care about that pet thing. You mind that thing. You like that thing. You are fond of that thing. You, you, you have a warm feeling towards that thing. And that is called affection, right? That's what affection is simply, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's being affected by something, being fond of something, liking something, you know, the different ways in which we show affection, right? Some of it is by organ, you know. <laughs> I love organ people. <laughs> Even when I worked in a place where it could be prohibited, I have to ask permission to org, you know. Uh, I, I love organ. I'm a, I'm a hogging machine, you know. Uh, anyone who knows me knows I love organ, right? But, but I have to be careful also in organ also, unless it gets interpreted as something else, you know. So because I love organ, tell just tells you I, I'm affected by people. I love people. I love people. That's been my life. Always been my life. I love people. You know, I'm an empath. Don't forget, you know, I, I get absorbed by the emotions of all this, you know. But I love organ. Yeah, and that's one of the ways we, we show affection by organ someone. You know, uh, by kissing someone, you know, whether it be a romantic kiss, uh, a platonic kiss, a French kiss, <laughs> or whatever. But that's one of the ways we show affection, right? You kiss someone's forehead, you kiss so you kiss someone's cheek, you kiss someone's uh, hand. You know, you all you're just saying that you're affected by that person, or and you're wanting that person to be affected by you also. You know. Another way we'll show is by cuddling, you know, just cuddling, just holding somebody, you know, and I do that, you know, just holding somebody, just giving the person warmth, you know, it's, or being warmed up by somebody, you know, uh, also by holding hands, right? A lot of people show that by holding hands, you know, when they're walking the street, husband and wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, 
holding hands, just a, a way to show I care, I love you, you know, and I'm showing it to the whole world that I'm affected by you, you know. So that's another way. Other, those are ways of showing affection, hugging, kissing, cuddling, holding hands, you know. Uh, so other ways in which we get to show affection is by patting someone's back. I do that a lot. <laughs> I, you know, I, I just sometimes I get, I, I, I kind of laugh at myself, you know, uh, I get to pat people's back, I rub people's back, you know, uh, rub people's back, you know, uh, wrapping your hands around another's shoulder or waist also is another way of showing it, you know, just putting your hand a, a, around someone else, you know, just showing you, you, you love the person, you care about the person. You know, when it comes to the opposite sex, obviously you have to watch the environment, you know, and do it, uh, do it, do it with uh, decorum. You know, there are those that you know you won't do to some somebody you're not close to. You know, you have to do with decorum, but those are just ways of showing affection. You know, but we do it by sending cards, sending gifts to somebody, just showing you care. You know, uh, also reassuring someone when they are down. You know, just words of encouragement, you know, those are ways of showing affection to people, you know. Um, you know, some people, some people, you know, let me not go there. All right. Another way to show affection is also by discussing positives in the relationship. You know, when <laughs> to show affection to someone, to strengthen the relationship, you know, it's it's by focusing on the good, not the bad. If you if you're focusing on the bad, then you're going to destroy the relationship. <laughs> That's not bad in every relationship. We're not perfect. We're not perfect, you know. But if you want to show affection, you want to build the relationship. You focus on the good things, you know. I've been married for uh be twenty six years, I guess twenty six, right? It'll be twenty six years next month. I'll be married, right? Our marriage is not perfect. I'm not perfect. My wife is not perfect. Even this afternoon, I, I was almost feeling offended by something, you know. She's not perfect. I had to choose choose my battles, choose where to focus on. I mean, we all have good, strong points. We have negative ones also. So you have to ask yourself if you want to build or you want to destroy. You know, then that will determine what you focus on, right? So I focus on the good because I want to build. You know, if, if I focus on the negative, I'm not, that's not affection, right? I focus on the positive because there's a lot of positives. And even though there might be negatives, there's a lot of positives. You know, this person is a good person as much as this person has some faults, just like everyone does. But this person has a good motive. A, 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 this person is a good person. You know, and 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 you have to then, to then choose to grow in love, to build your relationship, to build your marriage. You focus on the positives, right? You know, yeah. It's just like I used to have a farm manager that for every initiative I want to do, he always finds a thousand reasons why it won't work. And I just try to explain to him that he's been negative, and he feels, oh, oh, shouldn't we talk about the things that I go wrong? Yes, there are always been things that can go wrong. I know that. Why not focus on the things that can go right? Yes, we're going to look at the things that can go wrong and we'll, we'll put mitigations in place. But let's focus on the way to go right because we want to do it. We're not saying it's easy. We're not doing it because it's easy. We're doing it because it makes money, it's profitable. Is the way our company is going to grow. So we're going to focus on doing it. While focusing on doing it, yes, we'll, as the issues come up, we'll address them. But we don't kill it before we even, we even start. You don't build affection. You don't show affection by focusing on the negatives. Not the way you feel. But wow, the other person will feel. If you're controlled by talking about the negative, then you have a problem. You lack control. You lack self-regulation. 
you don't have a control of yourself. You're not sound in mind. If you're sound in mind, you'll know how to, how to build, not to destroy. I remember one time I, I we were having a meeting and it was supposed to be a, a team building event. And my project leader at that point in time had some negatives. Yet she was such a beautiful person. Beautiful person, beautiful lady, beautiful uh, Colombian lady that I love dearly. And I believe she she did love me also dearly. You know, I mean, like you might say, we're not in romantic relationship, but it was a platonic, you know, team relationship. But we had an opportunity to talk about different things. And I, I talked about the things that were wrong. And I regret doing that. You know, I talked about our faults. <laughs> I don't think she forgave me that. Or oh, whatever it was, he, he probably didn't hear the right way. You don't show affection by focusing on the negative. Yes, there are things to be addressed, you know, maybe find some private way to do it at the right time to do it. But let, let it be known that you're doing it out of love. Catch the person at the right time, in the right place, in the right way. But in a place where you have shown enough affection to be able to keep that in. When you're showing affection, it's by focusing on the positive things. Offer to be there if someone is depressed. Just being with somebody is a way of showing, showing affection. Most times when people have losses, they, they're not looking for your words. They're just looking for your presence. Someone has, has, someone has lost somebody dear to them. It's not the words you say that's going to make that person calm down or feel comforted. Your presence is much more than the words you say. So if you don't have good words to say, shut up and just be there. Just be there. Just let the person know you are there to help. You are there to, 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 to make, do some things for the person that you might not be able to do at that point in time. But just be there, just to comfort, just to hold, just to org, just, 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 just to... Just all, just to pat the back, just just to be present. Just your presence is a show of affection. Your attention, your person is the greatest gift you can ever give to some somebody else. It's not your money. Yes, your your gifts can show it, but there's something more than your gift. If you if you can give it, your time, your attention, your presence is on a higher scale than your gift, your money. Another way, it's, it's also by cracking jokes. All right, well, by cracking jokes, being humorous, you know, making the other person laugh. But it's another way by which you show affection. And I love to do that. <laughs> I love to do that. All right. So those are different ways of showing affection, you know, to someone else. Then we, 